Good morning, good morning guys. Welcome into another show here. Yeah, it is a good morning, that's for sure. We've been given there now for at least an hour and a half. And we have arrived on the edge of Edmonton. And guess what? They got a brand spanking new highway up here that takes us around Edmonton on, on the north side. It's the Highway 216. It's finally finished. My GPS don't even have this road yet. But a good friend of mine, Todd, told me yesterday that this is completed now. You can go all the way around. So, uh, guess what? We're taking it. And Google Map has already got it in there, of course. But uh, not my Rand McNally yet. So, here we go. It says 216 North. Yep. Apparently it's got no traffic lights in it, so no, I don't have to go through downtown. Well, you didn't have to go through downtown, but no, I don't have to go through town anymore. With all the traffic lights and lower speed limits, and right now it'll probably be getting close to rush hour over there. So this was only seven kilometers further, which is about four and a half miles further. You know, it's not even five miles adding on to my route. Yet, I can just cruise right on through here. No traffic, no traffic lights, nothing. So, because of all of this, it looks like I'll be at my customer here. Uh, according to uh, Google Map there, it says 10 minutes after 7. Well, they don't even open till 7.30. But whatever, at least I'll be there first thing in the morning. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it will get unloaded quick too, uh, which I know it ain't going to be quick, but whatever. Yeah, my Ram McNally GPS is going crazy. He's like, go here, go there. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't know what to do with itself, but... Anyways, we're going to go ahead and continue on with... Uh, getting to our customer the sun is starting to come up right now as we speak so it's still a little bit dark probably in the footage but whatever let's go down to our customer and hope for the best that it ain't gonna take hours to get unloaded right a little bit of an update on what's been happening all day I'm sitting here in the shop right now yeah look at that we are however hooked up to a trailer this is actually uh, part of our terminal here, but it's, well, you know, it's somebody else's shop here, but they uh, allow us to use the yard here so we can have our trailer stored here, I guess. And uh, this is a trailer repair shop. <laughs> Funny as that is, <laughs> but yeah, uh, took five hours to get me unloaded there earlier. And then, uh, so dispatch got me a, uh, local guy here to go pick up the uh tra the load that i was supposed to pick up because it needed to be picked up before lunch so took me till 12 30 till i was finally unloaded i come down here i grab the trailer i do my pre-trip abs light is not working i tried everything i changed the abs light nothing is working so uh yeah so needless to say we're here at the shop now we're gonna try and get it fixed. It was, however, quite a challenge to get that done. Now, not the shop. The shop has got time right away. Look at that, they got me in the door, right? But uh, the problem is the shop in Steinbach did not want to give me authorization to get the trailer fixed. So I said then, well, I refuse to hold the trailer then. I'm not putting my license on the line to get placed out of service somewhere. And so I said, well, if you send me a message that you're going to take full responsibility for that, then I'll haul it for you. But without that, I ain't, I ain't hauling it. So I said, yep, yep, yeah, I'll put it in the system. Yep, 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 okay. I wait a few minutes, nothing. So I called the safety department in uh, Steinbach. He's like, what? We're supposed to be fixing that. I said, no, I didn't get authorization to fix that. He's like, well, there's a shop right here. I said, yeah, I know, but I need authorization, right? Can't get it. So uh, he called the shop up. 
Yeah, he says the same thing. I said, uh, he said, I can't force him to, to tell you different, but uh, he says, if you refuse to hold that load, he said, I'll support you in that. I'll stand right behind you with that, support you in that. I said, all right, I'll call dispatch. So I went ahead and called dispatch and uh, told him the situation, and he said, oh, we'll get right back to you. And so in a few minutes later, I got a message. You have authorization to fix the trailer. So these are the things we have to deal with sometimes. We got to stand up for our own protection sometimes, you know. Just a little tip, you know. We said the other day we're going to give you tips. You just have to stand your grounds. If you're not going to fix it, it's your trailer, it's your equipment. You're not going to fix it. I can't hold it for you. Sorry. It's out of service. Can't be done. I'm not going to put my record on the line, you know, because that goes against my FMCSA record. They could place me out of service. The man that get it fixed before uh, the trailer is allowed to move, right? So uh, I'm not doing that. Heck no. Anyways, I'm just walking around a little bit. We just got her in the shop. It's been a crazy day today. So uh, yeah, it's going to take a little while to get that fixed. But uh, whatever. I'm just going to go for a little walk talk to you guys about the situation right let off a little steam i guess i usually can't share everything with you guys so anyhow let's go back there my arm is getting tired of holding the camera up in the air <laughs> i know it's going to be a short day today but whatever our trailer is all fixed up guys and all it was is this plug-in i hope you guys can see that the one stud there all the way on the left side is all green and this is the uh, plug-in and all the mechanic did is cut the wire and wired it all up. I'm going to go to the uh, trailer and show you guys on whereabouts that uh, that plug-in is. It's actually underneath the trailer. Before I do that, I'm going to show you which, uh, which ABS light I'm talking about. And this is the light that I'm talking about. It's always in the back of the trailer and it says ABS right on it that needs to come on when you turn the key on that lets you know that the ABS system is working correctly so let's climb underneath the trailer here hopefully we don't hit our head yeah this is the uh, wire right up here that is for the ABS uh, system and that was not working correctly you see a little bit taped up over there yeah the guy took the plug right out and uh, just did a hard wire to it now it's working fine so now we're here at the flying hook fueled up now we're gonna go inside real quick and take a shower because I'm dirty I need a shower and then uh, we'll go home make our way home anyways I've been giving her now for a good old while here yeah we're trying to make some good miles here but I am getting tired today I think all that hard working is starting to catch up with me here that I've been doing this week so uh, I don't think we're going to max out our hours today I mean as far as driving time it's not going to be anyways but I still have 2 hours and 35 minutes remaining but I think once I get up here to Lloyd Minister or something like that I think I think I'm just going to go ahead and call her quits for today I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to take me a 10 hour break probably. And get a good night rest and then go home tomorrow. Yep. Oh well. That's how it is. But well, we've been giving her, like I said, for a good while already. Just cruising right along here. I was on the phone for a good while. So figured I'd give you a little bit more of a show here today. Yeah, we got our fuel, got us a shower. I feel much better that way, but I am wore out, that's for sure. Yep, and that sun is slowly starting to go down behind us again. Before you know it, will be dark. Oh well, happens every day, supposedly. I have made it as far as uh, Lloyd Minister, Alberta. Yeah, we stayed in the Alberta site. I'm actually parked here on a uh, service road. And that is not part of a truck stop, but we're allowed to park here on the service road because there's a Boston pizza across the street and I just went over there and had me good supper. 
So uh, now it's time to rest and get going tomorrow. We got a long ways to go. That's right. So I just wanted to touch back onto what uh, what kind of video we had today, and uh, that sometimes happens out here on the road. You know, uh, sometimes, and I'm sure some of you guys out there will experience this every once in a while that you're not allowed to fix something that's broke on the trailer and it's their trailer so you need their permission to get it fixed yet you don't get the permission well you know you roll through a DOT scale and they're gonna shut you down so that goes on your record not on the, on the company's record well it does a little bit on the company's record too but for the most part it's gonna go on your record so stand up for yourself that's basically my point today and you do have that right FMCSA gives you that right the company cannot fire you for that if the equipment is not safe to operate you have the right to refuse to hold that equipment or operate that equipment so that's what I exercised today and I hope you learned something from it uh, if you did share the video so other people can find out uh, about these things and uh, we would love to hear you from you all in the comments down there below so thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one